Hey guys, my name is Ryan. I'm a community manager for Brawl Stars at Supercell, and today I have some news. Brawl Stars is going global! Ogres. Oh, yeah. We've got the brackets you can see. Oatmeal Ogres facing the Sneaky Thieves in round one. This is double elimination. It's from our team up top. Orange one Juice, Molten Kyrostime looking out for oh, one man. more gem. Serious control. There it is. Right here. That's going to be the 10th gem. That's going to start the countdown. There it is. Red They've team's got, got knock, 10. Knock 15 one seconds down. left. The Oatmeal Ogres <laughs> have got it. Only two Boston. seconds oh. left. Almost gets out to hook down Molten, but Kyrostime is there to pick up the gems and put them right back into countdown. So the countdown reset, but now we're again, because they've got the gems, look at that Kairos time alone has 10 gems. Doesn't have much to worry about, he's sneaking around, he's hiding in the bushes back. there, five his seconds. opponents can't find him when he's in the bushes Three like seconds, that. yeah, they can't see him, that's right. We can, the opponents can't, that's it. That'll do it. Let's see if they can pull it off in game number two. It'll be underway shortly. Kind of designated, it seems like one player usually is being focused on to carry the most gems and Molt probably having the most hit points there. Yep. Makes sense. Just one more to reach that 10 yeah. and hit the countdown. Five. Orange Juice is about to grab it. He's got it. it. They're in the countdown. They've got the gem split up, so that means any one team member goes down and the countdown will be reset. The countdown will stop. Look so all they there. need to do is take down one of these three players. Their last they charge starting on now, one. But two kills for the Oatmeal Ogres. Uh -oh. so OJ is going oh, down, down, but they got a 10th gem. Oh, man, they picked up the gem. Gems taste like oatmeal. <laughs> oatmeal! We've got the first semifinal match about to begin. The Oatmeal Ogres facing Team Kauai. Oatmeal Ogres. Oh, <laughs> there, eight to his name. Oh, Don't man. be fooled by the rocks that he's got. He still has got plenty of firepower Ash left. Trying to get in Maybe there. Ash trying to good. pick up another one. He's gonna. Oh, he can't quite do it. OJ with the pressure right there, forcing Ash off the mine, picking up a couple more. And now they're into countdown as Kairos Time has nine gems. Wow. Molt goes down, Kyrus but they still have 10 up on top. Yep. Orange Juice looking for a little bit of a They're in oh. countdown. They got Fight a turret up on defense. That now. turret's going to make a big difference. Hold on oh, just a little man. longer, and that's oh, it. Amazing. <laughs> the Oatmeal Ogres pounding the desk. They can't be stopped. They're starting off again. Got all Moving on in to try to get as many gems as possible. Power Bank shoots off another rocket, but doesn't land a hit. Wow, Kairos turning around. Oh, he's gone down. K2K is going to pick up the gem right there. But OJ moving back. They don't have countdown anymore. They've lost that 10th gem. Skyrockets in flight. Power Bank oh, fires off the super, but can't hit Orange Juice. He goes inward and holds Orange Juice got 10 gem. now. He's moving back. Great moves by Orange Juice there. Conservative trying to stay out. Mole trying to protect him. Eight seconds left. There's no Mold bush the to hide now. He's, he's got to stay out of case to case he's range. Got the cover. I think he's done it. Three, two, one. Oh, he's got plenty of hit points and he grabs it. Holy cow. The more you play together, the more things are coming together. OJ? I felt the biggest secret was to wake up and have a good bowl of oatmeal. Now, we talked about supers a lot, and I think the ogres definitely used them well. So. Now, we saw Orange Juice holding a lot of gems this match, but I think the key super was from Molt right here where he could protect those three gems. They're at nine now, but they need 10 for the timer. And this is where OJ could sneak in, get that 10th gem, start the countdown, and win the match. Back to you guys. Very well said, Ryan. Just takes 10 to win. No sense in trying to get an 11th or 12th gem. OJ had a great read on that setup, and definitely deserve the victory. They'll be moving on to the finals now. We have only two more rounds left, so we do have our finals set. It is going to be Team Kawhi advancing from the loser's bracket to meet up with the Oatmeal Ogres. And once again, a rematch of the semifinals for the uh, Brawl Stars Tournament Championship. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah. Kairos now with nine gems, single-handedly just running things right here, hiding behind that turret again. OJ trying to defend. K2K moving in from the side. What? k in a very done. aggressive play here. Oh, Is he going to get punished? Oh, or K2K goes out. down, and that's going to be countdown right there. The 13 risky, gems risky move from the Oatmeal Ogres. Off. Oh, man, the risky move from K2K, almost heroic, but it didn't pay off. Kairos time 12 gems, five seconds left. Molt the sacrificial gem dies, but there's still <laughs> plenty up on top. Kairos time holding on to oh, him, man. and that'll be a win. 
what they've seven. done. They, they changed strategy. Instead of chasing down OJ for his gems, they've gone for gems of their own in the center. It's an 8-8 tie now, and Moltz taking a huge hit. Kesuke fires off a barrage eight. from his super, but doesn't get the finishing blow. It's down. a 3v2 now. Look at that. They've taken, without ever going after the other team's gems, without going after Moltz's gems, they've taken the countdown right here. Power Bang flies back. That's 10, ten gems seconds. for Team Kawaii. 10 seconds. But a tip oh. gem could spawn from the Can center. They pick it up. They picked it up. They've got the tie now. That means countdown stops. Oh, no. The countdown Red stops. Ash needs to countdown. grab all these gems and pull back, but look out. Ash only has nine. Spawn soon. You can't get the 10th gem. 12, oh, nine. Oh, no. That's it. Oh, Power Bang trying oh, to move up. up on top. Dominant. Nine, the heavy four, hitters. Three. Last seconds. Holding on to their gems. That's oh, a game. Oh, two. Yeah. Oh. OJ, some great moves there, man. You had so many gems for such a long period of time. You know, the biggest strategy was to pretend that each gem was a bowl of oatmeal and keep going in and just make sure you don't die because if you die, you're going to drop a bowl of oatmeal. So it's got a strafe back with cold to your long range, then that's the best strategy that we did. I love oatmeal. Cairo's time just trying to tank and keep... And you notice how Cairo's time is protecting Mold and OJ right here. Right behind oh, the OJ knew there. exactly where Power Bang had gone right there. Goes and collects the gems, and now they're in countdown. This is it, you guys. Mole retreating OJ. They've got the 10 right there. Case oh, another kill, big takeout. Set the cooldown. This could be Holding it. 10 seconds. Crucial shot, and that could be it. Power Bang super points, points, but he's retreating. Kairos time throwing up. Oh, throwing fists everywhere. Kairos time clutch. Saving his. Oh, there it is! The Oatmeal Hooters! Undisputed champions of the Brawl Stars Launch Tournament. Undefeated Galadon. A trio of champions rises. Thank you, Galadon. Thank you, Woody. And a huge thank you to all of our YouTubers who participated. I have a very special prize for the Oatmeal Ogres. This is the first plushie spike ever made going to the winning team. Lastly, I want to give a huge thank you to all of our beta players. You can finally pre-register, and we will see you next time. So Brawl Stars is finally going global. That's super awesome. I did hint that global was confirmed on my tweet. Global was, I've only known about global for about a week or two now. And even when we were filming the live stream a little bit earlier, we had no idea. We were just filming it for in case it does go global. At the time, we had no idea. So when I made the video yesterday, I kind of did hint at it. Why would they release Supercell ID and then scrap it? That, that's something that they just wouldn't waste their time on. Like, Supercell ID is a really big implementation into their whole ecosystem. So if they were unsure about this game, Supercell ID would not have been implemented by now. They would be focusing on other features. So really, Supercell ID was the last telltale sign that it was for sure going global. So from an outsider perspective, the other telltale sign is that they just had so many subscribers on the Brawl Stars subreddit compared to Boom Beach and kind of hating. Hope you guys enjoyed the highlights of the stream. I had a lot of fun with it. Big shout out to all of my clan mates for giving me all the tips. Kairos, everyone for all the team compositions. I'm really rusty with this game, so the tips that my clan mates gave me were so helpful. We were a little rusty, but at least our teamwork was really good. And the oatmeal thing, it was a little cringy. Yeah, it was, but we had fun with it, and I hope that that kind of conveyed it through the video. I hope at least even one person enjoyed that cringiness. That would make it worth it, because at the end of the day, we were just at the stream to have fun, and also to win the spike plushie. Holy smokes. When is that coming to the Supercell shop? Is it going to make it for Christmas? Do they even have it in production yet? Why Why? Why did we do oatmeal? What, what, what was the fixation with oatmeal? Ryan came up to us two hours prior to the stream, and he said, you guys have two hours to search. You have two hours to come up with a team name. And then there's me and Molt and Kairos. Kairos is trying to think of all these crazy names. And then me and Molt are just chilling in the back. And after two hours, Ryan comes up to us. We all look at each other. Uh, what should our names be? And I just blurted out whatever just came out on top of my head. And I was just like, oh, 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 oh me ogres. And then that we just went with it. And right when the stream started we just started being ridiculous and just having fun with it and that's the story of the oatmeal <laughs> if you guys want to check out the stream it's about an hour long it's in the link in the description down below for the full tournament of everything of all the youtubers competing against each other if you guys want to pre-register it is also in the link in the description down below the coolest thing is that we're getting shelly skins that looks like a super cool skin i'm super excited for that you just need to log on to brawl stars once within 2018 
and they did say that it is coming in December. We don't know exactly which dates in December, but we just know that it's coming December. So when it comes out in December, log on, get your free skin, and you're good to go. As long as you log on within 2018. I mean, if you log in January, you're, not, you're probably not going to get the skin, and you're probably never going to get it again. No, wait, no, no, no. You can only get the skin if there's 2 million pre-registers. Hope you guys had as much fun watching the stream as I had playing on the stream. It was super fun. I love this game so much. I have 900 brawler boxes. I'm so happy that I'm finally going to be able to open them. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Am I going to do a two-hour opening, or am I going to speed it up? I don't know. <laughs> it's a lot of boxes, and I haven't even unlocked my brawlers. Should I separate that into like a 30 segment or a three hour video? I might, I don't know. There's so many boxes. Don't worry, I will cover as much Clash Royale as I am now, plus more Brawl Stars. Cause if you look at my channel, I don't post every single day. I'm gonna have the same amount of Clash Royale videos and even more, on top of that, even more Brawl Stars videos. Don't worry, nothing's changing. If you only wanna watch me do Clash Royale, I'm gonna have the same amount of Clash Royale videos Gameplays, sneak peeks, they're all gonna be there. The only difference is that I probably will be doing Brawl Stars 2 because it's a lot of fun. Biggest reason why a lot of us didn't cover it was because it wasn't global. So it's like, why would I cover a game that no one can play? It's gonna be super fun. Supercell makes really great games. Hope to see you guys in the arenas and maps. Thanks for watching.